Every day, children are misled. Truth is tainted. Visions are blurred. Right is wrong. Definitions are manipulated. Icons are mistaken for role models, unfortunately. Rarely do we remember children in our rural schools. They also need this bread of life. Most of the rural schools don't have books. They don't even have um, teachers or people who come to talk to them on life as an adult or, or a responsible person. And we said to ourselves, I think this is where we have to fit in. You know, we'll go to such schools and bridge that gap, be that, be that, um, that source of change. willing to salvage this menace, to tell our children the truth and our values. Where do we meet these beautiful ones to give them a message of self-development and empowerment? Do we have the resources to tell this lane? Affirmative. And the channels of this selfless act, are they here? Yes, we are here. We are Federal Government Girls College Leader, Alumni and the Good Branch. And our vision is to transform one child at a time. I love your, your presentation, the seminar. It really made a very impact in, in in students that had, I, I, I really like the way you presented yourself in, in a more flamboyant and organized way, proving that there's synergy when people come together to showcase something that promotes social and community service. It encourages us as young students also. I pray that they continue to, to progress. I'm Mrs. Atichi, Regina. I'm the VP admin of the school. Actually, this program is quite inspiring. It's a very good one. Despite the sun, the children were able to listen and uh, cooperate with what was taught. I want to open up for the former dance and the rest of the members of the school to thank you for coming to for bringing us your time to come to our school. Yeah, we just want to thank you for the various presents you have offered to our students and also to thank you and pray that to you and all the grants you guys safe joy and to your various destinations. Thank you. Now, we gave some of our students books, novels, um, boxers, and others. There are people dying. Oh, when it's time to lend a hand. I'm in SSC and I'm a student of Ida in my girls' secondary school. Um, I've learned many things from our aunties that came today that teach or that taught us in this. I've learned of resisting peer pressure, resisting lesbianism, and resisting immorality. And also, I've learned that high morality brings reputation to someone in the future, good reputation, not the bad one. And I will say thank you for what you have done because it's, it's a good thing to come to a school like this to come and train up the girls in the school, to train them and some people that don't have good home training, when they learn from all those things, at least they will be assured and have confidence in them that something good is happening and again that they should learn from their bad ways to be good ways. and I thank them for what they have done. For that is a good thing to come to the school, to come and, and say thank you to them. I was given a grammar book because I answered the question. And a gift, a book, when we are coming out, that's a wonderful thing. Ms. Chikese Chidiogo. I'm in SS3F and I'm the head girl of our school. Seriously, when I heard of this event, I was very, very happy. Very happy. 
and to be frank, I'm, in fact, I'm so excited. I don't know for my friends, but I believe they're excited too. For me personally, I'm excited. And as they promised us, they will come another day. And I can't wait for that day. Because this vision started since 2015 and it has been a productive move through four cardinal points sensitization or reorientation if you may fun activities gifts private counseling during the sensitization sessions strategic topics like sex education Acquisition. Go to MIST today. Government has introduced something we call skill acquisition and entrepreneurial development. It is called science. When you go there, they will teach you how to take photographs. They will teach you how to be an autom automobile engineer. They will teach you how to make things. They will teach you how to make chemicals, how to produce soap, how to do a lot of things. It does not prevent you from being who you are. You can be a doctor. I'm a beat maker. I am a dentist, but I'm a makeup artist. Morality, peer pressure, amongst others, are discussed extensively. Your instinct tells you where you are doing the wrong thing. And where you are doing the right thing, you see that? In yourself, you know, in your conscience, you can actually differentiate that what you are doing is right. You see that? So what I'm saying is this. If you love yourself enough, you will be honest with people around you. If you love yourself enough, you will know that when We engaged in fun activities. To bond with the students and to break the student teacher barrier, we danced and dramatized our teachers. Did it? 
yoga and I'm the guy. <laughs> she was, hey, it's camera. And as regards counseling, we also answered private and personal questions and got these kids with answers that seemed complicated. As a matter of fact, I just had a lady who confessed um, that she lives with someone, not her parents, her guardians, and all the things she wants to be in life. She doesn't think she can be because of what they tell her, the experiences, and then she saw herself living a life that is not originally hers, responding to pains. She said she has become someone else. And that when, when my sister was talking, that she felt she felt she was talking to her. She 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 told me she needed me to pray for her. And I said, I'm not even a pastor. She said, Yes, I just need you to pray for me. I've gone so far from my young age. And when I was praying for her, I just told her, Do you mind sharing all those things that has happened? She said, just know that I've gone so far. And that I'm making a promise that after today, I would write to them be a difference in my life and this is because she has the opportunity of talking to me there are many other young girls out there who are feeling this way but do not have happiness to share and so if if i go home today if you go home today i know we're fulfilled i know we minister to people when we were coming here we were told all sorts about the school and so we came in here we were not even sure they were going to open doors to us but here we are feeling very fulfilled, feeling like we have caught out. Yes, I think we definitely touched hearts because you can see that these children are yearning for a change. You know, it's like this thing about you need help, but you don't know where you're going to get it from. You need somebody to talk to you, you need somebody to like gear you up to come out of the pit you have to find yourself in. And I think I feel that that's what these children experience today because they are beginning to realize that certain things, certain decisions, certain attitudes and lifestyles they are take, taking up will not benefit them in the future. Unfortunately, most of them do not have someone guiding them. But I, from what we have seen today, I believe that a lot of them will have like this 190 change. Turn around, uh, turn around yes. I said three systems, just like starting from that point back to now. So it's like a 180 degree change in their lives. After which we give gifts as expression of appreciation. Some of them include writing material, pens, pencils, erasers, rulers, mat sets, you name them. And also underwears, you heard me, boxers, underwears, we did that too. In view of the existing moral decadence in our society, FGGC ledger alumni Enugu is bridging the gap by encouraging attitudinal and value change in our society. We enjoin you to support this vehicle of change. We also appreciate our sponsors who have unflinching support for us. God bless you immensely.